This is a reading of the Prostate Cancer Commentary of September 2022. The subject is androgen deprivation therapy, ADT, and radiotherapy. And it'll just discuss basic mechanisms and new developments. Any man diagnosed with prostate cancer is likely aware that lowering testosterone levels achieves control of the cancer at various stages of the disease. Question, what is the underlying biology and function of that therapeutic maneuver, ADT? Neoadjuvant ADT refers to testosterone reduction prior to the initial radiation therapy. Testosterone reduction has not proven useful prior to prostatectomy. ADT prior to brachytherapy. The purpose of ADT prior to brachytherapy is straightforward. Lowering testosterone reduces the size of the prostate gland by about 30% over about a one month period and facilitates the passage of brachytherapy needles past a potentially obstructing pubic arch. This ADT is conventionally accomplished with Lupron, Degarlex, or Dutasteride combined with Casadex, and usually precedes radiation by about two months. ADT administered prior to and during radiation therapy. ADT potentiates the lethality of radiation. Radiation inflicts double-stranded DNA breaks in cells and these breaks become lethally operative when the cell attempts to proliferate by cell division, that is to say mitoses. ADT assists radiation by inhibiting the repair of the damaged DNA and is continued during the full course of radiation so as to continue the potentiation as the ongoing radiation induces DNA damage sequentially. Adjuvant ADT. This refers to the continuation of ADT for variable durations after the completion of radiation therapy. During the course of neoadjuvant and adjuvant ADT, the PSA drops due to the acute death of 90% or more of prostate cells because of their dependence on testosterone for life support. Adjuvant ADT has been extensively studied over many years and has consistently been found to improve patient overall survival as compared to no ADT in men with unfavorable intermediate risk and high risk cancer. ADT has customarily been achieved with Lupron, Firmagon, but the current availability of Orgovix, generic name Relegolix, is leading to potential changes in the use of ADT with radiation therapy. Relegolix, ADT, and radiation therapy. A comprehensive critical review of this subject was offered by Spratt, Roy, and colleagues in an article entitled, An Expert Review on the Combination of Relegolix and Definitive Radiation Therapy for Prostate Cancer. This was published in the uh, Radiation Therapy, Oncology, Biology, Physics, October 2021. Spratt points out that Relugolix achieves faster and more complete testosterone suppression compared with the LHRH agonist Lupron and may require physicians to rethink the mechanisms and goals of ADT when prescribing. In the HERO study, by four days, the Lugalex reduced the testosterone level below 50 nanograms per DL, conventionally thought to be the castrate level. And it did so in 56% of men versus none with Lupron. And by day 15, testosterone was reduced by 98.7% versus 12.1% respectively. At day 15, Relegolix lowered the testosterone level to less than 20 nanograms TDL in 79.4% versus 19.8% for Lupron. 
Rulogel X potentiates radiation effectiveness by reducing androgen re receptor driven repair of DNA breaks. And quoting Spratt, induces intratumoral hypoxia and induces permanent cell cycle arrest. The Lugalix does not produce the early testosterone flare, as does Lupron, so Cassidex is not required to protect skeletal metastases from enlarging and threatening spinal cord compression. By 90 days after the discontinuation of the Lugalix, 54% of men had recovered normal testosterone versus 3% for Lupron, allowing a shorter duration of unwanted adverse effects. The expert panel co-writing the Spratt article has made recommendations as to the duration of androgen suppression with Relogalex with primary radiation therapy for prostate cancer. They recommend for unfavorable intermediate risk cancer, having treatment with brachytherapy alone or cyberknife they recommend one half month Relugalux concurrent with radiation and three and a half to four months following radiation therapy. For high risk cancer, for treatment with external beam with a brachytherapy boost, they recommend one month concurrent with radiation therapy and 18 to 24 months following. For treatment with cytonife, the recommendation is one half month concurrent with radiation therapy and for 18.5 to 24.5 months following. The next area of discussion in the commentary is entitled The Biologic Dynamics in Micrometastatic Cancer Persisting After Palliative ADT. This focuses on the basis of cellular resistance to therapy. Pioneering work by Dr. Ken Pienta, professor of urology and oncology at Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine and colleagues, focuses on the tumor microenvironment and the persistence and reemergence of treatment resistant cells. This is based on a video presentation by Dr. Pienta to the Prostate Cancer Foundation, which he entitled Accessing Evolutionary Programs to Enable Therapeutic Resistance. The marked reduction of PSA, and therefore malignant cells, brought about by hormone suppression, unfortunately, is not complete. A small proportion of cells are not killed outright, but are rendered dormant. That is to say, non-proliferating, but metabolically alive, and secreting adverse cytokines. These stem cell-like dormants are inherently resistant to therapies, hormonal, chemotherapeutic, radiation, and immunotherapeutic. Pienta describes finding occasional unique polynucleated cells in prostatectomy specimens and determined that their presence increases the risk of recurrence and metastases. Considerably more of these cells were found in the tumor microenvironment in later stages of the disease during the state of dormancy. These cells represent a cancer's self-preserving response to the stress of treatment and are inherently resistant to all forms of therapy. Later, under less stressful conditions, they escape dormancy, transition back to single nucleated cells, and proliferate as multi-resistant cancer cells. Pienta and colleagues are researching effective therapy for these resistant clones. So take it all together, the bottom line of this commentary states, Relodelex's manner of action supports changes in the use of ADT with radiation therapy, and Dr. Ken Pienta and colleagues are researching the evolution of cellular resistance to ADT therapy and potential treatment.